geleistet. saved. Alright. Yeah, so... This is a better we should look at the rocket launchers. So I think in the original game, this one little arena... ...it wasn't going to act in the whole game. But now, go. Oh snap. Now I'll put this pedal and then we'll pop more to look forward to. Yeah, I can put the bottom down the side place. Designed to help me dodge to safety. This, I, feel, I have a feeling this episode will be annoying me. The good news is, this level has probably my favourite music in the game. Which is saying a lot, because you know, it's a dang good soundtrack. But... Oh boy.
is, is once this battle's done. Yeah. And I is gonna wind us up for another 40 minutes. There we are. Alright. Oh. That'll do. That's it. That's the spirit. Well, swing it. Let's go. Is that where I came in? Boy. Yeah. See, this is the first trace of this, I think. Or is that further along? So yeah, you have to kind of where I go now to the actual final boss chamber. Originally that was the end of it, but add more. Good news is, there's some stellar music, so it'll be worth it. <sighs> I was wondering if, if my drunk playing can be amusing, but like, I really don't think it's, it's any worse than normal. I'm not sure if that's a good sign or not. It can very easily be taken both ways. Don't look at me, really. Alright. Explosive. Shoot at and that, I think it's optional. I don't know if it does any permanent damage later. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of levels where you just have to wing it. Oh, you trying to lose it.
say that um, Sigmund Gonax Lear is now longer than the entirety of the original Zen. Which is believable and impressive. Oh boy.
wasn't a boring way to go. <laughs> I think I think that's the metric I judge most games on. I mean I mean it's not fair because No it is. Dying in Dark Souls is boring. Except 
Szép a lucky occasion. A vision I like that so it's a stick. Essentially not. Sustain on the other hand, that's terrible. I'm, I'm probably gonna do a playthrough, just watch me jump all the way through. Fun. Ah, yeah. Nice. So we have to like. a tiny bit of um, lots of time. The, apparently it's, it's critical mode for not really be many open views. It's really rid of some old PlayStation games that are that everyone can get with. And I like that and I um, just kind of played a while ago. But one of my more recent goals. Uh, my recent I mean I did it at least like a year ago. <laughs> um, I said, I said, I went my blades of time, it was one of the options. Just probably look back through them, see what games are on the list. Blades of time is still on there, it's on there somewhere. I don't know which, where, but it's, it's on there. Army here. So I've got long full boots. Like in um like in portal. No, it's basically canon that Aperture and Black Mesa um her arrivals. Um they they stole they stole technology from one another, stole private designs. Sold them as their own. Wonder which one. Long fold boots. I mean, Aperture, um. They invented teleportation. They invented interdimensional travel. Um, they even. They do. They even invented. Time travel subscription, which are all parts of half life war, so you know. Um, had to do us the resonance experiments. 
I'm glad my team got over here in the first place. I was feeling a bit too before that there hasn't been much action has there, you know. I haven't been stirring for the But, um, oh boy. That's off. No, I haven't been feeling too tipsy. I haven't botched up any more than usual. I usually botch up a lot. Up too badly. As I said. Get here.
Oh, that's right, I remember this room. the level of Half-Life 2 and the expansions which is saying a lot this year. extremely annoying. That's why I'm going to exterminate them ahead of time so they can't give me any grief. This is cool though. It's a pretty cool area. this episode, you know. for a minute. Oh wait, am I... 
Oh god, I'm so mad. I'm totally not gonna do that. I knew that. I'm not a, I'm not a vegetable. Human. State. Got here. Oh dear. No. Ain't working for me. Huh. Got here. This reminds me of um, the the water temple. Always beloved. Um, the water, actually, the whole island's level from um, cameo elements of power. Whole island's kingdom. Um, it's one of my favourite games. Maybe it's favourite. Okay, I don't know. What's up there? Yeah, it's, it's cute. Um, it's fun. I've played it a bunch of times. I still enjoy it every time. And yeah, it's served a lot more love. I'm sure that it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's Microsoft. And the Microsoft's Boogie Man. It's, it's a big corporation. None of them are any good, but you know. I, I, I haven't seen any terrible of that. Microsoft. Microsoft bought them. They made what's its face? Star Fox Adventures. And, and nobody liked it. Some of the reasons were valid. Some of them are just because morons who don't see that everything's improved with dinosaurs. kind of Um, we all also doing well, and 
Sometimes I don't have to be back. I can go soon. Yep. Well, we're fucking soft by you. But I'll let you go now. And the first game I think was grabbed by the Ghoulies. Um. No. Oh. It was. It was a bad game. Terrible. It's been on paper. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, every, lots of games got off paper, pretty much all of it. It's, it's a really boring game. It's, combat's really dull when you're not, when you don't have a good luck to swing around. There's about 10 times as many combat moves. It wasn't, it wasn't a terrible game. It's even a bad game, most people say it is. A lot of them. Um. It's done pretty smoothly at this, considering how terribly the episode started. Now, it could be work, but. by the ghoulies, they made cameo elements of power, and it's amazing. My favourite rare game it doesn't directly feature Banjo in any form. <laughs> um, I, I enjoy playing it every time. Um, it's, it's, it's like it's been 10 plus Zelda. What, what could be better? It's, it's, it's an amazing combination. A little package. It's really fun. I like it. Not much character design. Pretty solid gameplay. It's a good game. Um, I don't remember what they made since then. Made Perfect Dark, Perfect Dark Zero, or whatever it was. Made some James Bond thingy. I, I don't. I didn't pay much attention. Um. They, they made um, Nuts and Bolts, which was a fantastic game, and everybody shared on it, so now all they do is make new games. When they turned that around, they made Sea of Thieves, which I'm yet to play, but I've got my eye on it. It's weird, because everyone hated it at launch, but the feedback is getting increasingly positive, and it's the player base is only growing, which is cool. You know, people like pirate games. They don't want to play Assassin's Creed, they want to play this cartoony thing. And you know, it's, in, it's kind of partly inspired by Project Spark, I think, which is um, the original concept for Banjo Kazooie, so it's full circle. Race Connect games are fine, they, they weren't the worst. You know, they, weren't, they weren't good, but they weren't, they weren't unplayable, they were totally playable. Um. This game crashed on me or something. Oh, here we are. 
All right. Um. It's a little. Let's just get up to the village. This village area is really cool. Oh, look, it's right there. The bastard. Um. What's his face? Alien grunts are like mutated vortigons anyway. Poor baggers. Alright. That was satisfying. Now, I don't know why everybody close Microsoft so much. <laughs> I'm sure that they have their problems. Like, I don't see anything particularly level up and done. Complete Call of Duty. What do you do with Call of Duty? Loot boxes in it. Who even cares about Call of Duty? <laughs> if Call of Duty has sci fi now, they're probably the only good ones for the top principle. The only remotely. Interesting ones to play. Hey buddy, settle down. I'm not gonna hurt you. Who buddy is in the sequel? Yeah, I might have missed the Easter egg. Maybe I'll, I'll load up that earlier chapter, find it, record it, slap it in one of these videos. I don't know what Microsoft's done so evil, like, I don't, I don't pay attention to game and drama, either this guy, this footage, which might be the vaguely interesting things in mind, on this many moves later as we ever did the dramas these days, um, this area is really cool, I'm not sure if it's new, most of you. Um. The antelope, I think, in like strange of the factory area. There's a little lengthy factory area here. Alien soldier factory. Cool. cool stuff. Yeah, like Microsoft has ported all the games to PC. It's ported over. Um, Basically every Halo game, just about everyone with Master Chief starring. I think, I think that's right. They're on my Steam wish list now. So yeah, they're basically saving me the trouble of having to buy an Xbox again. Like PlayStation's catching up. Got Horizon Zero Dawn, which I have pre-ordered. Comes out next month. Very excited for that. Play it someday. But I'll I'll do a, this lengthy game. And I'll do my lengthy first playthrough. My own time. Okay. Oh yes. See, it's nice. I've been murdering you the entirety of this game. Like, even though, even though there are areas in the original Half-Life where they help you, where they where they act like your friends. They don't like go out of their way to take your side. Just what what they do here, you know. Stay longer. Stay longer. You're a good lad. <laughs> you 
Connecticut. Play. So we talked about Rare for a while. I guess the one thing that most of us annoyed me is that um, they haven't recorded most, if not all, of Rare games to PC. They play some of them in Project 64, and they're on Steam, they'll be a godsend. You know, what you guys doing? This is a cool area. Chilling with my bros. I can kill them if I want. I won't, because I'm not a jerk. I killed that one scientist. That was an accident, I swear. My finger slipped. That, that. Don't try that at home, kids. They, they won't hold up the court. Um. Sustenance. Good stuff. Um. Yeah, we gotta fire up portal. These guys are giving me to hopefully get out of here. Um. So yeah, if Microsoft ported Rare Replay to PC, and particularly Steam, which will go without saying, hopefully, <laughs> anyway, um, then they would be pretty much perfect. I mean, Sea of Thieves is on Steam, Sea of Thieves is Rare and Microsoft and all that. So, you know, it's the start. Made a, they've made a solid start. Um, oh boy. Boost, I booted up the wall. Now the controls are here. So what they're going to do is take control of all the quadragons. They can try to kill me. But they'll only attack me. Thankfully they'll only attack me while the controls are uh, linked up to them directly. Just shelter in here for a bit, really. Shelter in place. I'll be good. I'll live. Support that. Just my ramblings. Probably get yeah, some progress there. Microsoft has um, ported what to see themes to PC, so you know, they're platform agnostic, that's what I read in an article, it's a nice term for it. So, you know, it's not off the table with the port um, of the other rear game someday. I really look forward to seeing that. Um, Uh, yeah, like Nintendo, Nintendo are very interesting to jerks. They have a handful of really amazing, or at least amazing, Kirby sites. They have a, a bunch of good to amazing, um, good to amazing IPs. They bought all for themselves on their fairly exclusive console. And it's just like that forever. They don't mention names anymore soon. Just have to look at it. Um, yeah, so PlayStation, taking a step in the right direction. But over Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, oh, yes, this is an achievement for, um, for not killing any water gods at this level. Not Lord Worley. I haven't even dealt with all of these controls yet. I'm nearly there, close enough. It's very cool people there, we've got going on there. Is that bugger hiding? PlayStation, are they making a step in the right direction? Horizon Zero Dawn is an extremely good game. I played Sunset Overdrive the other day, I think someone said that was like PlayStation exclusive for a bit. I don't know. 
So yeah, they've, they've made they've made good strides. They're not they're not stingy douchebags who take the ball and go home. Is that the guy that saved my neck? Or was I I hope I don't seem as sensitive you all look alike to me. I, I'm sorry. Ah. Yeah, sorry, bro. You could have just let me. You could have just locked me out, and I would have had to find another way around. But I might have broken in. Some guys shouldn't have gone down anyway. But no, this is on him. Unless it was you. One of you. Anyway, it's appreciated. Back in terminus. Turn to the all in one. All that good stuff. I remember an early access um, had to get crashing on me. Um, at this point, it was annoying because I was really enjoying it. But they fixed that bug. It's doing fine for me in full release. Okay, PlayStation, PlayStation's good. You know, but, but take the ball and go home. But, but um, still a bit greedy. You know, because we've got. Oh boy. We've got Sly Cooper, amazing series, four games, supporting for themselves. We've got Ratchet and Clank. Like 12 games now, putting it all for themselves. Um, the Last of Us, Uncharted, I think. Great games, putting it for themselves. You know, it's not cool, not being good sport. And, you know, so I put them to PC to get my money. But... And then realise the consoles are starting to obsolete. I like consoles, I mean, they're on the Xbox, so it's a game, can't get anywhere else. It's a game already out on there. Like, people don't want to buy modern platforms and they can go with one. I mean, some people do. I've got a phone, a PC, I like mobile platforms. Consoles, PC gaming, don't mix it up. People don't particularly like it. I think it's still a thousands for an extra platform. That's what I'm gonna do to play Half Life Alex, some of the VR games I got. You know, um, that should be fun. Um. See if we can get to the factory in this level, then we'll wrap it up. So, you know, the last couple of episodes have been a bit short, a bit stingy, compared to my standards, so. And I'm on a roll here with my, with my, my console. My epic, epic gamer rant. You know, it's what, it's what people make a living off these days. People, people don't want to see me playing games. Or even, even breaking them down. Well, I, I, I do think I have some meaningful feedback to add, you know? That is meaningful to figure out when and how you get your hands on these games. Like, people care about that. Care about whether they should play a game when they get the chance. Oh, here we go. Another another chase there. I think it's like a bit of but with some, a bunch of different lands, some fun lands. Is this where they show up? Alien soldiers. I don't know what they're called. Soldiers of the ground, if they were. That's, that's the little guys. These guys are like, um, I don't know, tanks. The big lands.
statement is like not taking any damage on the end. Oh, thank goodness. I thought you were going to be difficult. Is anyone keeping count? I'm not counting anymore. <laughs> well, I can I can keep rambling at least. Um. So yeah. Um. PlayStation has like four. I have the franchises I want. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. There's a good few games I'm behind on. Nintendo! They aren't such a stressful situation for me, you know, they've got, they've got a few Mario games, Mario Odyssey, um, Mario Sunshine. Mario Galaxy, go and check out Future's Mansion, maybe. All that good stuff. Oh, what am I missing? You know what? I spit to the flames. Um. Nothing, Kirby. Get that, get that parasite out of here. Um, Zelda, a few Zelda games I want to play. Skyward Sword, um, some of, some of the people tell me of these guys. Zelda, Stout Sword, um, Spirit Tracks, maybe. The last one, um, the one everyone loves, loves to hate. Um, age old story of an amazing game that gets dunked on until people learn better. Zelda, what's it called? Um, Wind Waker. Can't believe it was escaping me. Um, what? No. It's more like it, thank goodness. <sighs> okay. Oh boy. <sighs> um, have, have me panicking for a second there. Leave me be. Make me breathe. Oh boy. Um, what other Nintendo games are even worth playing? Um, Wii Sports Resort. Um,
<laughs> Stressful. God. Let's jump from the It's not right. It's, it's not fair. Um You know that gives me time to talk. Sound off in the comments. Really good time to go that, you know? What, what, what Nintendo games does anybody actually care about? Um. Animal Crossing is the antithesis to all good things. It's the death of all good things. It's, it's a howling void from which all men experiences. I don't like it. Like, it's like Pokemon. Maybe I'll check out Pokemon Snap in there, whatever. Chris the Switch the only of course. I'm trying to think what what, what Dino games are like. It's Project 60, in terms of Project 64, um, Rocket Robot on Wheels, that's that's a good one, I don't know, do they only have to do that still? Mario 64, that's good, okay never mind. Mario Odyssey, Mario Galaxy, just a few of those big ones, but you know, Metroid, Metroid might do the rest of them out. So it's a little bit help by it, you call it, it's a little area. A few big names I care about, you know, and they worth caring about. But, like, I can live without them. Like, they're only marginally ahead of, like, Knack. When's PlayStation porting Knack? I'm sure, it's, I'm sure it's on the way. You know, like, it was. That was, that was PlayStation's killer app for a while there. It's a meme now. I kind of want to check it out. Jack and Dexter, I think. I might check that out someday. Yeah, there's a couple of... couple more great PlayStation games I forgot to mention. Nintendo just has a few proper killer apps. Or killer franchises, really. And then it's... It's just a howling void of nothing. That's what it is. PlayStation's ahead of them, and I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. What does this have to do with Gordon Freeman? Um, invading an alien dimension. Should all, but you know, it's keeping us going, and it's keeping me talking through this horrendous loading time. You know. I have, to, I have to cross my fingers and hope the game hasn't just crashed. Yeah. I'm sure the, the OBS is still working. It's just the game. It's designed to wet the bed. No, I shouldn't hate. Like, it's an indie project. So, they have a hard time sorting bugs. Can't be too harsh on them. But, it does suck. If you are watching, maybe look into this. Maybe see what you can do about it. Um, yeah, the Black Mesa guys, they're cool. They like my posts on Twitter, which is a sign of a good, um, a good, a good dev team. It makes automatically makes me like them more. 
Um, like, Legendary Gary was genuinely really charming and fun game. But I discovered it because I followed the dev on Twitter. And I got inspired to grab it because. I don't know. Thank you, stuff. Oh boy. It's having a moment. I'm just scared out what the gear. Is this the big part two room? Trying to help me, but hurt me. And I feel like spent the iron machines is gonna hurt me, and it's gonna screw up this operation. It's just what my intuitive skills tell me. The lab. All of the day.